Welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about my EDC, my everyday carry, the things that I just can't live without. If you're new to the channel, we've been posting like crazy in the past three weeks. Six videos, guys. Six videos. Yeah! This is a new one. Let's keep going. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you can join the family. Let's go. So today I got a budget option starting off for you guys. Y'all know that I love my headphones, my earbuds. I've been toting the Apple AirPods because those are amazing, especially my blacked out colored ones. I love those from Colorware. Thank you so much. And if you didn't know, headphones, especially noise canceling ones, are so expensive. Usually if you want to get a good one, they're around 300 some dollars. Today I got one that's only about 150 bucks. It's amazing. It'll blow you away. You definitely have to check it out in person. Even if it's not for yourself, this is a great, great present, especially because Christmas is coming soon. Christmas is coming. Yeah. So these are the SoDrop Pros. This is from a company called Ghost Tech. So far the quality has kind of lasted. I've taken it in my book bag. I've taken a camp in. I just kind of throw it around and I'm not too stressed about it since it is only 150 bucks and it works great. Next up, we got the new GoPro Hero 7. This is the first time I'm talking about it on the channel. I'm going to tell you now, go buy this. I really cannot believe how amazing and how smooth that footage is. I'll throw in some vlog footage for you when I went to downtown La Jolla with my wife, shopped around, walked around, got some candy, check it out, all handheld, just like this, super, super smooth, amazing. Wanna see how stable the footage is? Walking around downtown La Jolla right now, handheld, my hands shaking a little bit. How's it look? Candy store. Might be new. I'm not like the other YouTubers that were able to get one for free. I went and bought this myself on B&H. Definitely check out the GoPro Hero 7. Which brings me to this other one. I absolutely love this new portable battery pack. This charger has a USB-C in and out port. It has a USB-A port, but most importantly, it has this special door where you can fit a GoPro battery inside it and it can charge the GoPro battery. <laughs> I have no words. This is an awesome charger. Every GoPro owner, I think GoPro 5 or higher, you need this. This is awesome. Next up, what I got for you is the essential must-have EDC. This is my key holder. The company that makes this makes all different kinds of little EDC kind of products for your keys and they're amazing. They keep it so nice and compact. This is a really nice one that has black leather. They also have canvas ones, rubber ones, etc. Look how small a package it makes my keys. And let me show you what I got on here. So got my mail key, my house key, bottle opener and multi-tool, the nail filer, don't really need that, but the mirror, the mirror part is what's cool, especially as an Eagle Scout, I think it's always handy to have mirror on you, as well as a 32 gigabyte USB thumb drive right here, all in this convenient, cool little package. I love putting this in my pocket, it just makes life so much easier, my keys don't jangle, my keys aren't a crazy mess with a bunch of different rings, D-rings, loops, whatever, this, is a must have for the minimalists out there and all you people that love EDC stuff. All right, so I wasn't really gonna throw this one in here, but I feel like I kinda have to because if I'm fully honest and this is an EDC everyday carry video, my MacBook Pro, it was a late 2016 model. I carry this with me everywhere, every day, literally if I'm going out on a shoot, if I'm going out to my parents' house, if I'm going to a friend's house, if I'm going to work, if I'm going to, Literally anywhere I go, I bring this. Even if I just leave it in my car, 
it's with me. Like I said, I bring this to work, I bring this everywhere. I'm actually a teacher if you didn't know, so something new I've noticed, um, it's actually a software I wanna share with you guys, it's called PDF Element, it's from a company called Wondershare. I highly recommend this if you're a student, if you're a teacher, if you're someone in the workplace that uses a computer, this is a really awesome software that lets you edit, annotate on PDFs, which I've struggled with for a while because you can kind of do that on Adobe Acrobat. You can't really do much on it. So PDF Element, definitely check that out. It's something that I've been using every day. So I figured since I'm talking about my everyday carry, my MacBook Pro 2016, late 2016, 15 inch model. I figured I'd tell you one of my favorite softwares that I'm using on there right now. If you guys wanna check out that PDF Element software, I highly recommend it, especially, like I said, as a teacher, even as a post-grad student, I've been using that a lot. Last but definitely not least, I'm currently testing out for my phone, the iPhone XR, and I've been a little bit nervous about breaking it since I've heard that the glass on it is not as good quality as the iPhone X's or the XS and the XS Max, and on the side, instead of stainless steel band, I just got aluminum bands right now, so I've been trying to find a good case to protect it. Currently, I got the iPhone XR, the yellow one right now that I've been rocking, and I've been using the sheath case from Kadabi because this one is thinner than the iPhone silicone case, but it has a two meter drop protection rating. It's super, super grippy. Don't get me wrong, I love the Apple silicone case grippy feel, but this one, this grip is just a lot more texturized, a lot more safe in my hands. Like I said, I've been wanting to protect my iPhone XR, so the sheath case is what I went for, but on the days where I'm kind of chilling at home and I want to throw on a different case, have that more minimal vibe, I've been testing out the Veil XT as well from Kadabi. That one is incredibly thin, super thin, but if you drop that phone, you're kind of screwed. So I love how minimal that one is, but the sheath, still my favorite. Also, want to give a huge shout out to B&H. If you guys haven't checked out B&H Photo, they have awesome, awesome stuff. If you live outside New York, no tax. Love that. And I want to shout out to them because they've been hooking up the channel, my lighting, my equipment, some of my boom poles, my stands, my tripods. They've been really hooking up the channel, helping me build out the studio. As you guys can see, different sets, new sets, new offices, really trying to up the quality of this channel. Shout out to B&H. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not a part of the family yet, hit that subscribe button below. Hit that like button. Let me know you guys are enjoying the content. And to the next one and beyond.